little bit about this. I pulled our community and I asked them, I asked them, I would love to hear my Star Citizen fans comment on what they thought of the newly designed landing system by taking this poll and commenting about it below. Now, there was a lot of really good feedback here, and I hope this gets to Cloud Imperium. Uh, but I, and we didn't have a great vote. We usually get around five to 600 votes. This was like 364. People are still sleeping. <laughs> Come on, wake up fans. Uh, but like it was, it was a pretty good sample. It's a pretty good sample. And, um, we talked a little bit about it on the last inside star citizen review. And here we have, um, the results, so I, I gave three options, and I spelled spleens like that on purpose because I was being silly, by the way. Some people did. But I put, I like the new landing spleens. <laughs> a part in your body. 59%, wow. 60% of people, 60% of people actually voted that they like it. That's, you know, and, and after you watch the Inside Star System review, I, I also kind of was of that mindset, but with a few caveats. Like I, I wanted it, I wanted them to have like uh, um, an option within the 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 uh, options screen to take that off if you didn't want it. I, I would like to toggle that on and off. I also talked about how I would like to see it be on something that you could work towards or aspire to with larger freighters and people that aren't like HOTAS or dual stick people that aren't into the flying as much and are more mouse keyboard centric that are traders. You know, like something that you could work yourself up to to put a, a part into your ship that could automate it that would then bring us a, a process like that up. That was another idea I talked about on the Inside Star Citizen Review. So these were the caveats that I was talking about. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. All right. Then 15% of people said they don't like it at all. Which is is rather small. I thought I thought this was going to be a little bit more like uh, a black and white kind of thing. And then twenty seven percent said I like the idea, but here's how I tweak it. Now I wanted to go over those comments with you guys. I won't go over every one of them, but I wanted to go over some. Um, our top one max power. Thank you for being a, uh, a a member by the way and pushing the join button member. I really appreciate that, Max. See your badge here, bro. He says, we need useful maps to go with this tech. Uh, I'd lose the spleens and just give uh, fines for violating airspace. Like in real life, a simple GPS-like device would guide players just fine. Oh. Welcome. Welcome, Goopy. Welcome to the family. Mom, it's real nice for you, bro. So I understand. I think they should be there. Like, I, I think they should be there for people... Because it, for for people with like I said before, it's justifiable for me that people who don't really get into the flight have a means in which to get it. I don't think it should be an automatic thing, Max, but I think it should be something that you could buy or aspire to for larger freighter ships. That would make more sense to me. I I get it. And as far as maps go and compasses and and GPS. That's always been something that's that's been needed in the game. So absolutely agree with you there, Max. Um, Wynn says my immediate thought was that it looked too arcadey. Um and um as an augmented reality, they could have done better from a design point. So he didn't really like the design too much. And it was very bright green. So I got a lot of comments from that from people. What did you guys think in the chat? There were a lot of people who were saying it was like way too bright. Uh, J Dubs agrees. Uh, Buzz says it shouldn't be autopilot, just a corridor through the restricted area. And that was another thing I want to talk about chat and with the people watching this highlight. I wasn't quite sure after watching and I haven't been able to update myself on the info. If in fact, this is a tunnel that eventually just sucks you in and takes over everything. Is that how this works? Cause I was under the impression when we first saw it, that it was merely like a guide. That it was like a guide. Like here you gotta, you gotta fly manually through it. Uh, which, you know, that I would be fine with. But if this is something that li literally grabs your ship and then just takes you in, uh, I'm not quite sure I would be as happy with it. Again, I would be fine with the larger styled ships because of that, all the issues that we're having, especially at this version of, of the alpha that we're playing. But, um, you know, I'm not quite sure overall in the long, the long game that I would be fine with this thing being a complete autopilot all the way down. 
Um, they did say that the UI is still under construction, says Ross. Yeah, so they'll continue to tweak it. This is like version one. So Ross is right. They'll continue to tweak it. Uh, Red says he'd rather see it hover above the hangar, like the VTOL, like an like the like kind of like a VTOL mode. I I I understand that, Red. I understand that. Um, but like you got to think also like the level of degree in which people know how to fly versus those that don't. The ones that don't would have an issue with it. That's why we had all the issues that we did when they changed uh the the VTOL, you know, and everybody's like, oh, you know, and everybody got upset about that that change in the flight process. Um, J Dub says, I didn't think it was an autopilot. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's an autopilot, but I could be wrong on that. Uh, but J Dub's both, both of us think this is not like an autopilot thing. Dark Angel says, from my understanding, you should still have to land yourself, but there is a lane. Yeah, yeah. So, and that's what I got out of it as well, Dark Angel, that this is like a highlighted lane to go down into. And let, let's just, let me see if I can find the, the, the original, um, Let's go to Star Citizen's channel here. Let's see if we can find the video. I love that when you type up Star Citizen, you cannot find the channel instantly, but you get like the board game. <laughs> board gamer's on it, dude. He's everywhere. I love him. <laughs> He's like every <laughs> board gamer comes up before before actual Star Citizen's channel. Uh, let's see. <laughs> he, I gotta, I gotta ask him how he did that. <laughs> uh, let's go to uh, Inside Star Citizen, which I don't see it on here. Oh, thank you, Damon, for that subscription, bro. Thank you. Here we go. Thank you so much, Dames. All right. So where did we see that at? We we saw it right here. We go. So this is, in fact, where they start their approach. And here you can see it. It doesn't look like it's automated. It just looks like, yeah, it looks like a path that you follow. But it is very, very bright green. So I, I get that. I get that people are like, whoa, like tone, tone it down a little bit or do something else. Or like there's way too many squares land, you know, going down to the landing area. <clears throat> Buzz says board is monetized, so he has higher search priority. Good point. Good point. <laughs> uh, so anyhow, yeah, I, I would agree that that's a little too much. You know, I, I think they're, they're going complete easy mode. But like I said, I I really would be OK with this on ships that would be a part that you had to buy it for and that it would be like for large freight type ships that you could eventually build up to the point where you could buy something like this. That to me would be more realistic have it as a piece in your ship or some type of component. Um, this is, yeah, this is just iteration 1.0. And I would, I would personally be fine with it even for larger ships, if it was an autopilot, but I think there has to be an L 2 F factor here and L 2 F stands for learning to fly or learn to fly. <laughs> and that would mean that like not every ship should have like an option like this. You also have to think, like I said in the video, though, that in the long term picture of this way down the line that you're going to eventually see tons of ships once player caps are raised per server. Uh, once we start seeing a lot of both NPC ships and a lot of real players, you are going to see like congestion like mad. So at that point, I think you're going to see people screaming for something that's like an air traffic control kind of helper, you know. So I, I, I really understand the need for it for the long, long game, <laughs> Ross. <laughs> so anyhow, I, I highly um, recommend you guys check out this poll on the community tab. There were a lot of really good ones here. Um, here, here's one. This is interesting. Uh, Dust says the display is a bit obtrusive. Space the boxes out, make them bigger. Yes, agree. And this is why I wanted to do this. Also for feedback for Cloud Imperium as well. To give that feedback that they were asking for. Uh, I agree. <laughs> Drake says, oh my spleen, because I spelled it S-P-L-E-E-N. Uh, <laughs> I would prefer instead of taking up the HUD, that have it auto switch to a video display. On one of the MFDs. That would kind of be neat. 
I don't know what it would take to do something like that, but that's a neat idea, Silas. Uh, Vic says, good idea. They need to have the amount of green. They don't need, uh, wait, good idea, but they need to have the amount of green hoops. Oh, so he's saying they do. That many is, oh, no, he's saying they don't. That many is kind of obtrusive, okay? Uh, I like the idea, but it's too bright, says Modifiers. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's see here. I think they're going to be uh, awesome, especially finding my way on Area 18 at night. Uh, landing at area 18 at night is not fun. He's right. I, sometimes it takes me in from different angles and the only way I can get my bearings sometimes is by looking at the actual Bev, uh, the, the convention center, Bevit convention center. So like I find that large circular hub on arc and I'm like, okay, I know that the, that area 18 is usually Northwest of the Bevit convention center and boom. And you know, there's a familiarity about that, that I do like though. After a while, when you fly so much, you start to become accustomed to the landmarks down below. And in a way, I feel like maybe that will get lost. Uh, but that's for hardcore people like myself that like to fly. Thanks, Chris. You guys are great today. You guys are really supporting the channel today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God, you guys are great. Feel real good today. Thank you so much for all the support. Seriously. <clears throat> and and like Damon says, like there's other people that like Damon, he's like, I don't want to remember. I don't want to remember where it is at all. <laughs> like I. I <laughs> so I like I think that this new system's accommodative to both people that are real hardcore and those people that want to take it super, super easy mode. Uh, I think that it should be something that might have to be toggled on and off for those that are super hardcore mode that like uh, 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 that amount of realism. But like I had a talk, uh, I think it was with Erad. I can't remember who it was with. And I said this very thing. And they said back to me, well, like DG though, like imagine you're in the year 2900. Don't you think everything's going to be automated? Like look what's happening right now with uh, with SpaceX. Like when we watched that space, do you remember when we watched SpaceX together on the stream and they legit, the astronauts are in these, you know, these uniforms they are cutting edge. They get inside. They got that retro black, white DG mode fashion style. They sit back. There's three MFDs and they're, they're just like chilling. The shuttle goes up without them. Everything about it was like they didn't need to touch anything, you know? So, so there was literally nothing manual about it other than the fact that they wanted to test the manual landing once they got close to the uh, International Space Station, the ISS. But anyway, yeah, so that was a really good point, too. Kind of like talking about like, wait a second, DG, like the, the realism of the, the fact of the matter is in the future, everything's probably going to be <laughs> automated at all, <laughs> at all. Like everything's going to be automated. J-Dub says all landings on the Galactica are hands on. So say we are. Yes, they were. Yes, they were. You're so right about that. <laughs> Bud says we are back to monkeys in space. Dude, that's funny. That's quotable. That's quotable. Arcane says long-term space flight will require heavy automation and cryogenics. But besides that point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, that's the future. That's really the future. Uh, The Kodiak says... I want to go over a couple more here, get everybody, you know, as much people as I can on the video here. The new landing gantries look cool, but they need to have something that extends out to affix to the docking collar of a ship. Uh, so he's, he's, I think he's talking about more kind of like ship to ship, which, which will be really interesting when that happens. Um, Steve says it has to be optional. Agree. Absolutely agree, Steve. Some people aren't going to like it, period. I mean, there were only 15% of people on this poll that said absolutely not. But uh, when you're talking about that, there, you know, like you might want to have it as an option to accommodate those 15% of people. Uh, Malkior or Mal, I believe that's what it says. Change the autopilot to a crime stat and I'm sold. I'm all right. Says, by the way, thank you for being a member. I'm all right. See the badge, bro. Thank you for that, dude. He says in the pipe five by five, it will get tweaked based on feedback, which is why we're doing this video. But it is needed to keep things realistic at congested locations. So there we go. Again, <clears throat> talking about. <clears throat> how in the you know once the game's out player caps are up in the verse people are flying like crazy in the verse this makes much more sense in the future to have something like this so anyhow thanks everybody for taking the time to vote on that to comment on that to be here live 
I appreciate you guys. I'm going to put a lot of these highlights out to the YouTube channel. You guys helped me get over 10,000. Let us not forget, we are having a Drake Cutlass Blue giveaway. If you want to be involved, all you have to do, become a backer. That's it. And you're automatically entered. I appreciate everybody who helps this channel out. Thank you so much. I will be streaming tomorrow. Inside Star Citizen is on tomorrow. We will chill out, grab your favorite beverage. We are going to have a good time together.